Hello SEO professionals and welcome back again to this Backlinks SEO strategy course. So today is the second strategy of this course, which is going to be, you know, stealing the backlinks of your competitors. So this is what exactly we will teach, uh, you know, in this tutorial. So like I said in my previous tutorials that I am going to teach you my top 10 SEO backlinking strategies, which you can learn replicate for yourself to generate thousands of high quality backlinks to your own website or to your client's website or to maximize the organic traffic to your personal blog right this is what exactly we will be doing in today's tutorial so before we get started um, i request you uh, to make sure that you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on important tutorials of this course so let's get started without further ado but before that part of the tutorial i have one request for you i really want you to support this channel right so what you can do for this you simply like this tutorial and share this tutorial with your peers or friend so that it gets more exposure on the platform right so let's get started without further ado Right, guys so now I have opened my Chrome and now I'm going to show you exactly how you can uh, identify your competitors and how you can steal their backlinks right so I will use uh, my target keyword in order to identify my top competitors right so in the same way you will follow uh, you know the process and use your own target keywords and to see which of your competitors are ranking in the search results, right? So for example, let's say my keyword is solar panel installation, right? This is my target keyword. Uh, in other words, I want to rank for this specific keyword in the uh, search results. So let's see which are my competitors are ranking at the top of the search results, right? So this is the first stage of finding the competitors for your uh, target keyword right so uh, on the top of the list you see the uh, you know some aids which are paid aid so after the search aids uh, you see the organic results the first one is electronics and you.com the second one is greenmage.co.uk then you see some of the videos from youtube and then you see the third one solarnest.pk and then you see some of the local packs right so now if i'm targeting this keyword i know who are my competitors right and this is exactly how it google shows you that the ranking are websites for this keyword right so if you want to rank for this keyword and your competitors or in other words some other websites are already ranking for this keyword this is definitely a you know mean for you that this should be your competitor and this should be your competitor right now after finding out your competitors the second stage is to finding out their backlink profile right now for this process I uh, I would suggest you to use free tools if you are just getting started with your SEO campaigns or if you are uh, you know a newbie SEO professional right so to use free tool I would love uh, you know to suggest you a Chrome extension which is keywords everywhere right what this free Chrome extension does is it just you know pulls up all the backlinks for any specific URL ranking in the search results right so for example as we see this is the first one and then we see the second one uh, which is our competitors after the uh, you know the snippet you can see the details about this domain and the website this did uh, you know data is basically from keyword everywhere so when you click on show backlinks it's going to give you a list of all the backlinks or referring domains you know 
uh, that link back to this specific URL, right? So when I click on show backlinks, it's gonna give you, you know, a big list of the backlinks, right? So now you have got two options. First one says show backlinks for entire domain and show only one backlink per subdomain, right? So let's select only one backlink per domain. Now you can also, uh, you know, select the uh, number of the backlinks to be shown on this page. So for example, if you show 200 uh, backlinks, it's gonna give you exact number. So the next thing you can simply do is to copy this list of the backlinks or export this one, right? So let me just, uh, let's copy or export, uh, you know, it's up to you, right? But before exporting and copying uh, this uh, big list of the backlinks, let me show you one more thing that this Chrome extension also tells you about the domain authority of those specific, you know, referring domains. So for example, this is a domain, which is, uh, you know, pondparks.org. You know, uh, referring is a referring domain to this domain and it has a domain authority of 43 out of 100. And the second one has nine out of 100. The third one has seven out of 100. So, and so on, right? So the point here is that this tool gave you everything, you know, that is needed for, you know, deciding whether should you get backlinks from this domain or not. So this is my competitor and these are all the, the referring domains. And now if these domains have, you know, linked back to this domain, there is high chance for my domain if I properly reach out to them and ask them for a guest post for a mention of my website, right? So for example, let's see uh, what kind of the backlinks this domain has acquired from this list. I mean, uh, let's see if all of these are the guest posts, you know, uh, forum posting, you know, bookmarking or whatever. So let's first analyze the first one. So just by looking at the uh, type of the backlink, you can quickly analyze that, uh, you know, is it a guest post or, you know, or, you know, a bookmarking or whatever. So uh, this looks like, you know, a guest post by this specific website. What are different types of the solar panels and what let's see what is the encode text it's the installation process right so let me search for installation process so this is the encode text they are using right and this is backlinks So let me search again for the installation process. The second one, yeah, this is exactly their backlink, right? So if I open this tab in a new uh, window, it's gonna take me to the green mage, which is my competitor, greenmage.co.uk. This is not exactly my competitor, but I am just showing you for the sake of you know, teaching you how you can find out specific competitors for specific keywords and how you can steal their backlink profile and turn their backlink profile into your into yours, right? So there you go. They have got us to the same uh, website and they have targeted a blog, right? So exactly. There are two ways. Either this is a natural link or this is a guest post, right? So if this is a guest post, you simply need to reach out to the owner of this website and, you know, offer the uh, topics you can write on. And if they accept your guest post, you will be able to get a sweet backlinks to your uh, website as well. So let me close this one and to analyze one or two others as well. So let's see everydaygreen.com. Why is my electric bill solar panel installation? And this also looks like a guest post. I just need to make sure and uh, to note that in Curtex, which is solar panel installation, and it has a domain authority of 19 out of 100. So let's see 
what is this uh, i mean is this a guest post or a natural link you know natural links are basically those links you know if you produce high quality content you know other websites will uh, you know uh, would love to link back to your content to your uh, data to your statistics to your case studies exactly right so solar panel installation solar panel installation this is their anchor text so let's find out the solar panel installation solar panel installations so this is their anchor text now let me just remove this one so exactly the majority of solar panel installations are linked to a net metering system so this is a backlink so again there are two options either this is a guest post or a natural backlink now if you found that this is a guest post you need to simply reach out to the owner of this uh, website and offer the topics that you are confident to write on and if they accept your you know suggestions then you will be good to get sweet backlinks to your on websites so most of the websites you know mention the name of the author if it's a guest post at the bottom articles you might want to read so uncategorize anyway they have not yet mentioned the author of this uh, blog article but like i said there are two ways either it's a natural backlink or a guest post if it is a guest post you simply need to reach out to the owner of the website owner and ask for your own submission so let's find out some other as well then we see the microsoft no i think it is uh typically you need to target uh the uh, website which is you know a lower domain authority like 20 so i mean that you should first start you know emailing all those domains owners which has you know lower domain authority like 20 19 you know 25 18 you know 38 because these websites will likely you know provide you an opportunity to accept your guest post and link back to your own domain if you are just getting started with um, uh, your SEO campaigns uh, because in the start you may not have higher domain authority so that's why websites would not uh, you know uh, love to link back to your domain so that's why it's important uh, to start small and then slowly scale with the passage of time right so this was a quick demonstration of how you can find out the competitors for a specific uh, keyword right so like I said you can use the free tools like the keywords everywhere right but you can also use some paid tools as well so free tools like the keywords everywhere but uh, if you have budget you know then you can use some paid tools like Obersuggest, SEMrush, Ahrf uh, to find out the backlink profile of your competitors but the process that i showed you in this tutorial is the quickest simplest you know other tools also show you the same exact thing right so there is no difference in the data right in the backlink profile so some seo tools also provide you free plan but they provide you very limited options when it comes to finding out the data about the competitors uh, you know of your mm, website or your business right so like i said you cannot ignore the competitors in any business especially when you're in seo right so you can definitely not outrank your competitors until and unless you know their strategies you find out their backlink profile you find out their content um you know strategy and until and unless you know how they approach you know um, ranking for a specific keyword so i hope this was a helpful and quick demonstration on how you can find out the competitors for a specific keyword and how you can find out the uh, backlink profile for um, of those uh, competitors and how you can turn their backlink profile into yours so once again if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on important tutorials of this 
backlinks SEO strategy course. So I hope this has been a super, super helpful tutorial and I hope you have learned something. Now it's your time to show me your love, right? I will not be able, you know, to understand if you really enjoyed this tutorial, but if you simply touch the like button on this uh, video, I will be able to know that you really enjoyed this tutorial. Again, if you have got any question, you need to make sure you ask the question in the comment section. I would love to answer any question of you regarding the SEO backlinking strategies, SEO content marketing, or whatever you want to ask me. So thanks for watching and thanks for your time.